Hello and welcome again, Inklord here and today I'm gonna guide you on how to make the most out of the new Monster Hunter World collaboration event with The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Keep in mind that I am going to speed through the cutscenes and dialogues to make this video a lot shorter. I will leave timestamps below the description. For this event you will unlock Geralt's gear, the Igni sign, the Necker Palico gear and two optional rewards which I will guide you on how to obtain them. However, there is a prerequisite to get all the rewards. It requires the Meolotov Cocktail and there's also a prerequisite for the Meolotov Cocktail, which is unlocking all the Palico gadgets. I will leave links in the description below. It is okay not to have finished the Meolotov Cocktail quest as it will only prevent you from finishing a part of the side quest and you can repeat the Witcher quest indefinitely and you can come back for it when you have collected all the requirements. Starting off, you get to use the character Geralt of Rivia for this quest. You have complete access to his gear, but you can change his main weapon by talking to the smithy. You can follow the main quest up until the part where you use the Ignis sign to scare off the revultures. After this part, we will need to activate two side quests. To activate the first one, follow the route that I take, which is a great Reagress route and you will encounter a red Gajalaka doodle. This will activate the first optional quest that revolves around the Gajalaka King. After encountering the Gajalaka doodle, proceed to area 8 and you will encounter 4 ensnared Puke Puke. Three of them are dead, but one is still alive. Free the Spooky Puke using the Igni sign to activate the optional second quest. An exclamation point will appear in your minimap. Follow it and speak to the researcher to progress in the Gajalaka King optional quest. Travel to Camp 17, go to the place where Rathalos usually spawns. Defeat the Gajalakas in the vicinity to progress in this quest. Travel to Camp 1 and talk to the handler. She will give hints about the quest. The Gajalaka King can be found in Area 13, the exact location where the giant Vigor Wasp spawns, which they refer to as the Supreme Healer. Defeat the Gajalaka King to finish this optional quest. After defeating the Gajalaka King and freeing the Puke Puke, you can return to the main quest. While fighting the Leshen in the final stage, the Puke Puke that you freed will join you, and this is important. The Puke Puke must survive to finish the optional quest. Make sure that the Puke Puke is not being mowed down by the Yagras and use life powder to keep its health up. Once the Leshen is slain and all the other side quests have been successfully finished, you will unlock the best cutscene for this quest. Saving me. I am in your debt. Are you part of the research commission? No, I'm a witcher. Here in the forest on a contract for the commission. Wanna thank anyone. Thank them for hiring me. I see. One of our tribes have helped them in the past. But please tell them that they have the power of not one, but three tribes now. Got it. 
I'll tell him. Thank you for everything, Witcher. Want to go back? A little loud. But you folk are all right. You have our deepest thanks. We couldn't have solved that problem on our own. And you convinced the Gajalaka to help us with our own investigation. Thank you so much. How will you get back to your world? Leshen's portals, I think. Pretty sure I'll find one still open. <sighs> Where's that hunter? While I tended to the Leshen, he cleared the forest of a lot of filth. He's our brightest star, so he's rarely in one place for too long. As soon as that lesson was taken care of, he was already off on another assignment. He sends his regards. Now then, here's your reward. Hmm. Hefty as that coin is, it can't possibly have any value in my world. Give it to the hunter. Couldn't have killed the Leshen without his help anyway. And this, also for your hunter. What is it? A runestone. Your hunters don't wield any magic of their own. But in our world, magic exists in some objects as a matter of course. If a Leshen ever appears again, tell your hunter to use it to summon flames. Godspeed to you. Take care. Gotta be somewhere around here. What's this? Hmm. Think I get it. A gift for saving the Puke Puke over there. Bet we'd be good friends in my world. Thanks. But I was just fulfilling a contract. Doing my job. Don't need any gifts. Tell you what. You give it to the Commission's best hunter. Tell him we'll probably meet again someday. Well, take care now. <sighs> Portals. Could do without them. Successfully helping the Puke will award you with an attack jewel, an ultra rare jewel in the game. Successfully helping the Gajalaka King will enable you to encounter him randomly in quest. You can craft Geralt's gear by speaking to the smithy. It is found under forge equipment and full armor sets. After finishing the collaboration quest, you will receive a critical bounty for catching a Necker. This will reward you with the tickets to craft the Necker Palico set. I will guide you on how to capture a Necker. You will need a ghillie suit and you have to leave your Palico behind to avoid scaring it and you can only capture a Necker at night. When it is not time, run the optional quest called Hard to Swallow or run an expedition in Ancient Forest and make sure that there's a great Yagras that spawns.
Upon entering the area, leave your palico behind and wear your ghillie suit and wait for the great Yagras to eat an Aplonaut. Follow him into area 2 and wait for him to puke out meat for his baby Yagras. And after that, use your capture net to grab the Necker and report to the resource center. And that is it for this event quest. I have rushed this video because I have work and other priorities, but do leave a like if you find this video helpful. Press dislike and comment on what I can improve upon or what I miss. Otherwise, that subscribe button and see you later. Peace.